Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica data directory. How to add search or any other external link tab. So in today's session, we will see how to add external link in the IDD application. External link such as Google search or any other uh, website such as Twitter, Facebook, etc. So let's start today's session. Before going to start, we should know what is our database database model. So we are going to use the party database model where we have the party and it has the several fields such as the first name, last name, middle name or organization name, etc. So you can see all those fields. So this is the party model and we have those fields. Now let's go and uh, create or update the existing IDD application. So there are in the, we can see we have already configured one application into the IDD console and this is nothing but the customer for our demo. So just click that application and let's see the data uh, whether we have the already functionality available is it available or not we will first check that let's search any record so we'll quickly create one custom query which will accept a display name and we will search with some name so we got the result. Let's save this. I'm giving the name like cust search. The name of the query, which can be public. I'm making it as a default. We have set and let's open one record. Okay, it is asking to close other profile record. Let me close that. I'm just opening now. Now we, we have just opened the record. And uh, we would like to add one more tab like Google search or the Twitter in this action section. So we have edit, copy, delete, export as, um, and some other actions. So along with that, we want to add some Google search action. So what we have to do, I'm closing the application. Just export the whatever the um, application we have. Uh, I'm selecting the customer application. Export it. I already exported the same application and extracted here and this is the application. Let's open this. Now the uh, BDD config.xml is open and we will edit the subject area. So our subject area is customer and which is pointing to the persons only. So here we are going to add one more element that is not about external action. So here, just below the, uh, just above the ending of the subject area, we are going to add external link action. And the name of action is, uh, like we can give display name, display name Google search action. The name of this Google search. For the external link, we are giving the display name Google search action link. And we are providing one URL that is nothing but the Google search URL. Then we are passing one parameter and the parameter name nothing but the we are adding uh, a display name for the searching in the Google browser. So this is the way by which you can add the parameters. So uh, we added two parameters which will help to actually it will dynamically search whenever you uh, go to that page 
search result pad and open the record and if you click on the search tab it will search the name which you selected so let's go and save this and import as xml file so we uh, so we have comp uh, saved the bdd.file file and uh, now we are going to import into the IDD application. Select the application, go to the import tab, import IDD configuration only as XML file. Then the browser XML file. Make sure we are browsing correct XML file. Open it, import it. It will give us one message an application already exists with the name customer. Do you want to replace the existing application with this? Any previous customization to the existing application and its components will be lost. Yes, we are going to replace. So we have to click replace. Then we have to give the, uh, the ORS name where the, our logical ORS is going to bind. The ORS name from the MDM is MDM sample. Save it. Once it is successfully saved, we have to deploy that application. In order to deploy the application, we can use the application uh, state. So the, uh, we are we are getting one warning. For now, we can ignore that. Select the application and go to the application state tab select the full deployment so once it is successfully deployed the status will be green check mark so we can see now the customer application is successfully deployed we'll go to the application and open it providing the credential now we'll go to the query let's see if it is saved query available okay so mouse served query is not available so what we'll do we will create one more sample query which will select uh, you can select any column for easiness i'm selecting the display where i can found the multiple records Now I'm selecting Marcus Rice. This is the first name, last name of that person. And I'm going to open this record. So if you open this record, the first name is Marcus, last name is Rice, and the display name is Marcus Rice. So that means for the Google search, the Marcus Rice should have need to be get same so let's see whether the google search is available or not now we can see the google search is that no, new action is available for this idd application so if you go and check like the marcus rice whether a display or, or is it sent to google or not so if you see this we can analyze this uh data like how the link gets sent so it creates the https link with the www.google.com search question mark q is one of the parameter marcus 20 percent that is the space rise and the uh, language is en and some more parameters so whatever parameters we are sending that are get being sent for the displaying purpose so in this way, we can send uh, uh, the search functionality. Similarly, let's try to add a Twitter or let's say that Twitter works for us or not. Because it's HTTP. So in this time, we are not going to send any parameters. So how can we achieve this? So we are going to just what we are going to do. Uh, let's try to do this. Oh no, it is asking parameter. Okay, so we will just send this Twitter and we will ignore the other parameters. 
so this is the we are calling the Twitter application and I'm giving the name as so that suppose uh, from your application you want to connect to the Twitter directly you can do that or if you want to connect from your application to Facebook is it possible to or not we will see right away so I'm just saving this file so external link is created and it is type of iframe so you can see that iframe I'm closing this application now and let's try to import again we have to import the XML file So that uh, what I'm doing, I'm create. I'm just importing the XML file the way I already shown you. We have to override this functionality. So I'm replacing the configuration. Now select the ORS that is MDM sample, and after that it will give us one war warning pop up. We can ignore that warning message for now, and we. Deep, we are going to deploy that application so as I mentioned the warning pop-up came this is just a validation pop-up let's do the full deployment this time we have just uh, changed the Google search into the Twitter application and we are going to check whether the Twitter functionality is going to work with our application or not Now let's go to the queries and let's search one more for one more time. Again, the normal way you can use the advanced query as well, but as uh, this simple query is very normal query is very simple to use. So that's why I created simple query. Let's open this record now, like Molly Guzman, and we will go to the action. And now we can see the Twitter. So let's try to click the Twitter and if it works or not. We'll see. Now it works very successfully. So it doesn't matter it's the HTTP or the HTTPS. Um, the functionality work successfully for adding the external link to your added application. I hope this session is helpful for you. If you have any questions about the IDD or Informatica, you can mention in the video below. Thank you for watching video.